And we're out. So once again, Arlo and I are out and about, uh, out in the woods, and today we thought that we might uh, try our hand at a little more uh, crawfishing today, um, and then make something up with those later. So uh, anyway, it also gives uh, Arlo an opportunity to uh, get out and get his feet wet, which uh, he loves to do. Um, but uh, anyway, we found some nice clear water here. But, So today, because I had it in the back of my car, I brought a little, uh, one of those little um, uh, Doc Demon uh, fishing poles, uh, and I put some uh, bacon on the end of that. Um, so this time I'll have a little bit more reach and uh, make this a little bit more efficient. Um, I do love fishing with uh, a piece of twine and a chicken liver or a piece of bacon um, because it reminds me of my dad, and I used to do that when I was a kid. Um, but today we're going to try to be a little bit more efficient and see what we can get. <laughs> There we go, we got our first one. Look at that guy. Arlo sure loves to uh, get in the water, so it makes it difficult for uh, me to catch the crawfish. He keeps scaring them away. And uh, the other one that I caught, that big one I caught, uh, he stuck his nose in there and I grabbed him by the nose and he flicked it somewhere. So <laughs> I got to catch another one. Um, anyway, that's all right.
raining pretty hard here all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> getting wet. Hoping it uh, passes by here pretty quick so that I can uh, finish doing some crawfish in here. Feels good though, much better than uh, yesterday, which was super hot. Wow, it's raining like crazy now. We gotta head back to the Jeep for a little bit and wait this out. <laughs> Arlo's booking it. Like, what took you so long? We need to get out of this. <laughs> so, there he is. Back in the Jeep, boy. It's raining like crazy. It really came on strong. <laughs> Got our two, uh, our two little uh, crawfish here. Sitting in the container. That's it so far, but as soon as uh, it stops raining, we'll uh, go grab a few more. I did have uh, that first big one I caught. I left the container open and Arlo went over and he uh, stuck his nose in it and the uh, crawfish grabbed him by the nose. And <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it on the thing because the camera wasn't facing the right direction. Um, but Arlo stuck his uh, nose in the container and the crawfish grabbed onto his nose and he flicked his head and the crawfish went flying. <laughs> they couldn't find it, so anyway. It's all those good things I never catch on camera. rain. Look at that wet rat. <laughs> I know, we're waiting. We're gonna wait for the rain to stop here. Well, believe it or not, it's still raining. Uh, it's been raining for, I don't know, probably a good half an hour right now. Uh, it hasn't stopped yet. So we're just kind of waiting for uh, this to end so we can get out there and finish our crawfish in. Can't have a crawfish boil without any crawfish. Sheesh, that was crazy. We were, uh in the car for a good 40 minutes waiting for uh, the rain to stop and it just rained non-stop um, which is really great like I said for the forest but uh, kind of put a uh, damper on our uh, crawfish in but let's see if we can see if we can go back out oh, I feel so good though it's so it's cold actually I feel cool There we go. There's a little guy. Can, uh, normally they're really easy to catch because you can see them down there, but because it rained, uh, the, the water's all cloudy, so I'm just trying to put the uh, the bacon right next to the edge of a rock and see if they come out from under it. Um, but uh, on a normal sunny day, um, you can see them just sitting there, and then you put the bacon right in front of it, and then, uh, what are you doing, Ar? <laughs> put the bacon right in front of it, and then they go for it.
Well, it's starting to pour again. Ugh. All right, well, back to the truck. <laughs> yeah, back in the Jeep again. I wasn't planning on getting drenched today. I'm soaked. <laughs> I got poured on twice. We have uh, three crawfish right now in our little container. Make sure, make sure they have some air, but we'll be all right in there. Oh man, what do you think, Car? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, Car? That's a little ridiculous, huh? <laughs> We were not expecting to get uh, rain down today, that's for sure. Uh. Oh, he's going for it, I can see him, he's grabbing it. That's a big one. I got him chopping it for a couple seconds here. Get him out. Oh, he's hanging on. Oop, you got him? I think you got him. Yeah. That's a whopper. There he is. That's a nice good size one. Look at that. <laughs> That's a little whopper. I get him. Let's see if we can get him out of Alright, let's see if we can get him out of the water. See, look at that, that's another good one. Uh, okay, let's put them in a cup. The uh, rain stopped sprinkling anyway, so at least I can see in the water. The problem I was having before is that it, the little droplets on the water was like uh, making ripples that I couldn't even see down in there. And uh, you can't crawfish like that. I mean, you can, you just have to wait a long time. But uh, if you can see them, you can drop the bacon right on top of them or right in front of them, and then uh, you get them every time. Ah, look at those, some nice little rose hips. <laughs> there's a few, there's a few here. I don't think it's worth, uh, there's probably a couple dozen of them there. Um, not enough of them to collect to make something out of them, but uh, I'll remember that. I'll have to start, uh, now that I know that they're, uh, the rose hips are uh, ripe. Um, these, now that I, now that I know, now that I know that these rose hips are out, I'll, uh, I'll start looking for them. I'm getting, I'm getting dumped on. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Again, <laughs> how many videos do I have of myself out in the woods getting rained on? <laughs> anyway, Arlo's waiting for me in the car. I was just trying to catch those last couple of ones. Um, and then we are going to uh, head out and try to find some place to cook these up. Uh, that's not raining, hopefully. <laughs> there he is. It's raining so hard. I got rain uh, dripping off of my uh, hat. I don't know if you can see that in the picture there. Um, but uh, we're gonna head up. <sighs> well, it's another one of those days that uh, the monsoon came through and it hailed like snow. Look at that. Look at that. It's all over. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, it's kind of foggy and uh, just like it was the other day. Uh, foggy and uh, hail all over the ground. Looks just like snow. Uh, it's actually cold out. I'm actually chilly. I'm all wet though um, from being in the rain, but uh, feels like it's in the lower 60s, maybe in the 50s. It feels it's really chilly right now. I came up here on the rim to see if I could find a little bit of sun, but wow, rain's still coming through. Look at that. Uh, that's pacing down there getting rained on oh wow that's beautiful the sun shining through there it's like a painting sun is trying to peek through um maybe i'll try to do my thing right here um 
Arlo is uh, waiting for me in the car. Um, I usually don't like to uh, have him running around out here near the edge um, because, uh, well, I'll show you. It's a long way down there, and uh, if I can't keep an eye on him, and uh, he goes near the edge, uh, you know, whoo, so, uh, look at that. All right, as usual, I'm in a race against time. Um, it's about 5.30, and uh, we got another uh, monsoon coming towards us. Um, see that, but we got that up there. Um, but anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do a little mini crawfish boil Swedish style and this will be in honor of my Swedish grandmother on my mother's side. <laughs> so this should be pretty cool. Um, Alright, so this is what we have to work with today. So I have my pot. Um, we have uh, for our uh, 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 liquid, uh, we have water, um, uh, beer, um, lots of uh, dill, salt, and sugar. And that's what's going to go into the uh, into our pot um, and then I'm gonna make a quick sauce with some uh, sweet spicy mustard um, some sour cream and some more dill um, and then of course we have our uh, our crawfish here have our crawfish uh, in some fresh water hopefully they'll purge a little bit and they'll at least, at least rinse them off a little bit um, and so we won't have as much grit in there um, but anyway let's get started all right so I already put uh, the water in the pot so we can get that started um, and then to that water I'm going to add this I'm going to add a uh, what do I have here? An Alaskan amber. I'm going to pour in a whole beer. Alaskan amber. And then to that, um, some salt. A good amount of salt. Sugar. Probably about a tablespoon of sugar, I guess. And then all of this dill is going to go in here. All right, look at that. You can see the storm in the background. Uh, it's getting a little crazy here, so I'm trying to hurry as fast as possible. Um, but uh, while we're waiting for our cooking liquid um, to start to boil, um, I'm going to make our dipping sauce right here. So, so it's just going to be something really simple. We're just going to have some sour cream. Um, some of this uh, sweet hot mustard and then some uh, dill which I chopped up here. So uh, I'm going to put some of this uh, spicy mustard into here. Uh, let me set this down. A little bit of sour cream. Like that. And uh, I'm mix that together. Add our uh, fresh dill before it blows away. Here we go. As usual, the storm is uh, coming on strong. And <laughs> uh, I always find myself in this situation, but um, we're waiting for our, uh, our uh, cooking liquid to uh, come up to temperature, um, to boil. Um, it's looking pretty good. Anyway, that's what's going on around me. Um, the wind is uh, playing havoc with my little stove again, so uh, it's having a hard time uh, bringing this up to a boil, but uh, hopefully we'll get there soon. And then we can do this uh, really quick here. Um, now, uh, like I said, this is a sort of a tribute to my uh, Swedish uh, grandmother on my mother's side. Um, so I'm gonna do a little uh, sort of a traditional Swedish uh, crawfish boil with all the dill. Um, and the beer, um, and that's what they use to flavor it. Um, and normally this is uh, uh, cooled off and then uh, eat in cold, sort of like uh, peel and eat shrimp. Um, and then, uh, but today um, I don't have the time to do that, um, so I'm gonna do it, uh, cook it up and I'm gonna eat it warm. Um, but uh, what's funny is I have another grandmother um, that was on my uh, father's side 
um, who was French Canadian. Um, so I do have that Acadian uh, connection too um, in my blood. Although the Acadians were from Canada, um, they did move down into uh, to uh, Louisiana and became the Cajuns. Um, the funny the, the the story they tell is that the uh, that the lobsters that they cooked up there in uh, Nova Scotia and stuff uh, followed them all the way down the coast to uh, Louisiana. And by the time they got down there with them, they were small and tiny, and that's what the uh, the little crawfish are. So um, anyway, I hope to uh, sometime in the future here, I'm going to do another crawfish boil, a little mini crawfish boil, and I hope to do um, uh, more of a Cajun style one. Uh, but today, Swedish. Well, here we go, look at this. We have some boiling, boilage here. That's what we want. Rain, um, perfect timing. Um, here's the part that, uh, well, here's the gruesome part. Um, we're gonna put these guys in here, so uh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven little guys in there. Let those go for about five or six minutes, and uh, then we'll be ready to eat them and try them out. Um, well, you can see the rain. The rain is uh, actually it's hailing and hailing. Look at that. Here we go again. Here, <laughs> here we go again. I'm getting caught in the storm, and it's actually hailing into my crawfish pot. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> but uh, isn't that a beautiful picture? I'm gonna put the, I'm about to have this dill in here too. Alright, you can see that. <laughs> There's actually a little dents in my dipping sauce from hail going in the bowl. Anyway, here I am at the top of the world, freezing my ass off um, with my little Swedish uh, crawfish boil um, in the middle of a uh, monsoon on the Mogollon Rim. <laughs> um, I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh man. <laughs> it's going to be delicious, I know that. Um, but uh, I may have to go into the car and uh, eat this in the car because uh, it's actually uh, getting kind of crazy out here. Well, I'm in the car with Arlo. <laughs> um, anyway, this isn't how I was expecting it to turn out, but hey. Well, I figured I had to eat at least one of these in front of you. So, um, <sighs> let's see. Ooh, it's pouring rain. I ate the other ones in the car. I saved this one. There it is. Get some. Uh, I have my uh, dipping uh, sauce up here on the hood. So uh, there it is. Mm. And it is good. It's wet. It's rainy. I'm freezing my ass off, um, but it was delicious. And uh, you could really taste that dill. The dill in there is just like pow. Pop, you know, and you can taste the beer um, that we uh, cooked the, the crawfish in. So the beer and the dill um, are the uh, uh, 
really great, uh, overwhelming flavors of it. Um, and then the dipping sauce is really good. It has this nice pungent uh, flavor from the mustard and a little bit of the dill. Um, the, uh, the sour cream uh, really lightened it up a little bit. Um, so definitely try that. Um, it's really a uh, delicious way to uh, have your crawfish. And I'm freezing and I want to get back in the car. And uh, anyway, um, thanks so much for uh, uh, following along today in the pouring rain. Um, if you like this video, um, please like it, please subscribe, that will always help us a lot and uh, if you have any comments please leave those in the comment section, I really love that. Um, I'll get back to you and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>